1,935 earthquakes, 29 of which exceeded a magnitude 5.0 or greater. Unusual movement, conspiracies, global unrest, and more. Kick back, folks, and relax. This is your Weekend Report. Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you all have had a fantastic week. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Earthquake Report. For the record, today is July the 3rd, 2016. This video will speak of earthquake data spanning from June the 25th through July the 1st. It was on this date in 1985 when a 7.4 struck New Britain. Landslides and ground cracks occurred in New Ireland and in the New Britain region. A 1.3 meter or a 4.3 foot tsunami was observed in a nearby harbor, followed by a SOCH that lasted for 15 hours. For those interested, a SOCH is a temporary disturbance or oscillation in the water level of a lake or partially enclosed body of water. Interesting. This is what's happening. A blast in Central Park severed the left foot of a young man visiting New York from Virginia Sunday. The NYPD's bomb squad suspects a mishap involving fireworks and said it did not appear an explosive device caused an accompanying boom that was heard from blocks away around 11 a.m. Two of the shock friends denied that they were carrying fireworks moments before being taken away in an ambulance. Hmm. It will be interesting to see how the story unfolds. Terror attacks have been experienced in multiple locations around the globe this past week. A suicide car bomb killed 125 people, including 25 children Saturday evening in a busy shopping district in Baghdad. This was the deadliest attack in Iraq in many years. In Bangladesh, two days of mourning began this morning for the 22 victims of the weekend hostage-taking assault. The attackers killed 20 hostages and two policemen at a restaurant in the capital. This posse of losers belong to a banned domestic group who apparently do not have ties to ISIS. One thing is for certain, I am thankful to be living here in the United States. Hillary Clinton has met with the FBI over the use of her email server this weekend. This voluntary interview, which took place over three and a half hours at the FBI headquarters in Washington, largely focused on the Justice Department's central question, did the actions of Clinton or her staff rise to the level of criminal mishandling of classified information? What are your thoughts on this? I'll say it now, I will bet you that she will walk away from this unscathed. Only five weeks before the start of the Olympics in Rio, police say a mutilated body washed up on the beach where the volleyball competition will be held. This horrific discovery comes as Olympic organizers deal with a raft of problems including severe pollution in the venues for sailing, rowing, and other water sports. One organizer stated, We have had seven years to prepare and our authorities didn't do anything. This is basically a toilet, he said, pointing at the water. In the marina where Olympic sailors will launch their boats, a giant plume of sewage streams into the water. You know, it blows my mind that the Olympic Games will even take place there. This is ludicrous. Moving on to more positive news, Microsoft will kick off their summer sale on Tuesday, July the 5th. This game sale will feature over 250 deals on Xbox One and Xbox 360 titles. Discounts will range between 40 to 60% off Xbox games and some titles at more than 60% off. I don't know why I'm excited about this, but I'm counting down the days. How about you? Alright, Earthquake Report time, here we go. As mentioned, we finished last week off with 1,935 earthquakes. This, along with today's and yesterday's earthquakes, brings our monthly total to 549. We finished the month of June off with an outstanding 10,146. For historical reference, a year ago today, we clocked in 225 earthquakes. The strongest to strike the planet then was a 4.4 that hit the Fiji Islands. Well folks, this has certainly shaped up to be an interesting week. Overall, we experienced an increase in earthquake activity. However, only one earthquake, at least according to the USGS, fell within the magnitude 6.0 or greater category. This was a 6.4 that hit Kyrgyzstan on Sunday, June the 26th. 
27 earthquakes experienced fell within the magnitude 5 scale. The majority of these quakes fell once again along the Ring of Fire. There were some exceptions, however. These include a series of aftershocks that struck Kyrgyzstan. In total, this area experienced 27 last week. The most notable earthquakes experienced include two 5.8s that struck Vanuatu on June the 28th and the 30th, and a 5.7 that hit Mexico on June the 27th. Not to be left out would be a series of earthquakes that hit the southern mid-Atlantic ridge, three in total with an average magnitude of a 5.1. We have registered 97 earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 4 range. The most noteworthy earthquakes in this scale include a series of quakes that hit the Reykjanes Ridge. The week before last, we experienced 5 in total in this area. Last week, 11 struck. Along with this, we experienced 3 earthquakes that averaged a magnitude 4.6 that hit the northern mid-Atlantic Ridge and 3 to strike the Macquarie Island. This series of quakes had an average magnitude of a 4.8. The remaining earthquakes struck, for the most part, locations here in the states. We'll start with Hawaii, which clocked in 59. This breaks down to 8.4 earthquakes per day. These earthquakes had an average magnitude of only a 1.7. The strongest registered was a 2.7 that hit the Hawaiian Ocean View. This, however, is debatable. If you follow our Facebook page, you know that Geofam reported a magnitude 6.0 that struck just 1,300 miles off the coast of Hawaii on June the 30th. The USGS never reported this earthquake, and after a few hours, the record had been wiped from the Geofam reports. It is possible this was an error. However, an hour or two after the earthquake had been reported, the magnitude had been revised to a 5.9. If this was a simple error, would that aspect have been adjusted or simply removed? What are your thoughts on this, folks? Alaska experienced a 9% increase in earthquake activity last week. In total, we clocked in 627 earthquakes there. This breaks down to nearly 90 per day. The strongest to strike was a 5.3 in Sandy Point and a 5.1 in Adak. In the news, the Pavlov Volcano, a volcano on the southwestern end of the Alaska Peninsula, has seen increased seismic activity. The Alaska Volcano Observatory has noted increased seismic activity and steam emissions last week from Pavlov. As a result, the volcano's alert level has been raised. This volcano is one of the most active in Alaska, with more than 40 recorded eruptions, according to the observatory. This volcano erupted most recently in May and in March. An eruption sent ash plumes around 40,000 feet above sea level. Washington has clocked in 86. This was a 24% increase in seismic activity when compared to the earthquake activity reported between June the 18th and June the 24th. On Friday, July the 1st, 12 earthquakes struck the same area of Washington within hours of each other, two of which registered above a 3.0. The USGS reports that a magnitude 3.4 earthquake shook near Lake Stevens and Granite Falls around 11.36 a.m. Four people recorded feeling this quake as of 11.53. More than 10 people recorded feeling this quake by 11.55 a.m. Initial reports pinpointed the first quake was about 7 miles from Lake Stevens and 6.2 miles from Granite Falls. Oregon experienced an increase in earthquake activity too, a difference of 31% when compared to the earthquake activity a week before last. The strongest to be experienced was a 2.9 in Gold Beach and a 2.3 in Medford. Earthquake activity in California has continued to return to normal somewhat. In fact, we experienced 656 in total. This is down from 726. This breaks down to roughly 94 earthquakes per day. This is about normal for this section of the West Coast. The most powerful experience over the past week in the sunny state was a 3.6 off the coast in Ferndale and a 2.9 in Big Bear Lake, Arvin, and Soledad. Nevada clocked in 159. This too is about average. The strongest experience was only a 2.7 in Courant. Idaho registered 3 all week, these being a 1.8 in Chalice, a 2.1 in Mullen, and a 2.0 in St. Mary's. 
Montana experienced 36. This was a slight decrease when compared to a week before last. Swarm activity, 16 earthquakes in total, was limited to primarily West Yellowstone. The most intense registered was a 2.6. Wyoming clocked in 13, 9 of which struck Old Faithful Geyser. The strongest experience was a 2.9. Utah experienced 12. The strongest to hit was a 1.5 in East Carbon City. In the news, a man by the name of Chris Xavier is suing his local county due to his inability to marry his computer. Yep. Oklahoma clocked in 16. The strongest to strike was a 3.9 in Langston, a 3.8 in Fairview, and a 3.6 in Moreland. The average magnitude for these quakes was a 3.1. The majority of these quakes struck near hydraulic fracturing wells. Kansas clocked in 3, a 3.4 in Harper, a 3.1 in Caldwell, and a 2.6 in Cheney. All of these earthquakes fell right outside of fracking wells. The New Madrid seismic fault continues to experience movement. Arkansas registered 3, these being a 2.5 in Marion, a 2.3 in Haskell, and a 1.7 in Manila. Ridgely, Tennessee clocked in 9. The strongest experience there was a 2.3 in Missouri with 1 this being a 2.0 in advanced. The North American Craton experienced movement as well. Governor of New York clocked in a 1.1, New Hampshire with a 1.3 in Center Harbor, New Jersey with a 0.7, and Maine with two earthquakes, these being a 1.1 in Millinocket and a 1.3 in Limestone. Finally, a 2.1 was experienced in East Flat Rock, North Carolina. So there you have it, folks. There's your weekend review of our coverage of recent events. Help spread the word of this channel by posting this video to sites like Reddit, Facecase, BeforeIt'sNews.com, etc. This would go a long way in helping us out. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today, or if you would simply like to chat, please post down below. I would like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Guys, stay safe and have a great night. Hoorah!